So yeah, land. Everyone likes land, right? With land, everything is possible. You can build a shop, earn diamonds, then eventually make a country, start an empire, cause wars, and eventually take over the whole server. Oh wait, wrong server. Well, at least this is something Grian will do, right? Right? Oh no. Hi guys, and today, we're going to talk about land. Yes, land. So, Hermitcraft have this beautiful land space called the Shopping District, which used to be all mycelium. But then, a random guy wanted to like a mirror to make him turn this ugly mycelium into this beautiful lush grass. But then, this random guy again said that he wanted to turn into mycelium again. Because, you know, the principle! And then a war happened, and a certain guy's group won, and then he said that, you know what? Yeah, I like grass more. And just like that, they decided to keep the grass anyway. And yeah, it's very confusing. The principle! Anyway, basically, the lads in the shopping district are very, very precious. So precious that it costs diamonds. Iska came up with an idea to make the hermits go buy for their own land. And it went something like this. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's charge the hermits to pay their own land and totally not cause another, another conflict. Yeah, I'm used to those. So, in Iskel's words, the price of these lands, costing in every 100 blocks, X and Z, is equivalent to 1 diamond block, or roughly 9 diamonds. Which means that, in order for a hermit to build something in the shopping district, a hermit must pay diamonds in the diamond pile. This pile eventually grew bigger and bigger and thicker and then it got so thick, the hermits kinda wanted someone to handle the diamonds. So, they elected the mayor. So anyway, back to the lands. The lands the hermits bought were used and gradually become developed and turned into profitable shops, minigames, and beautiful landscapes. This trend of claiming lands made some hermits to aggressively claim them for future use. But have you ever wondered who have the most or largest claimed land in the shopping district? Well, in identifying the hermit who owns the largest plot of land, we need to specify first that we will not be counting offshore structures or government facilities such as the HEP and Pacific. We are going to only include commercial shops that is within the vicinity of the shopping district island. So, I have come up with 5 hermits that I theorized to have one of the most lands in the shopping district. So, starting with our favorite man, Iskel. Man. So, Iskel is the first hermit to come up with the idea of buying land in the shopping district. And this resulted to him also rapidly expanding his territories to secure key locations for shop placements. His claimed lands are the Omega Store compound, the Treasure Island, and the other scattered blobs of land in the shopping district. Fourth in our list is a random guy named Grian. So this man is a very rich man, and undoubtedly the richest man in the server, and his wealth reflects on the size of his territories he owned in the shopping district. His land stretches surrounding the whole Barge Lake and the iconic buildings in Aquitown. Grian's expansion is more of a strategic buying in securing one goal to expand the barge. Next up, third in the list and might be a shock for many is false symmetry. So false is not really known to have a large amount of money and her being third is quite a remarkable feat. Her land stretches from her plot in Aquitown, her concrete shop and up to her large nether team area. Second in her list is Exuma. And let's just say that Busy B is rapidly expanding his lands in the shopping district. His land began from a humble honey shop to a gigantic shop compound. He owns an already large compound consisting of his honey, concrete, rocks, and head shop, and also a recently large plot corner in Aquitown. And finally, the person who has the most land in the shopping district is a mayor himself. Good times with Scar. So, Scar at the beginning stages of the season made these iconic stores of the chess monster and a greenhouse shop, and the large acquisition of land in the north of the shopping district, which he called as Operation 
Aqua Thunder! Or now known as Aqui Town. Aqq Town? Aqua Wow Town? Aqu Basically, this greatly increased his land area in the shopping district. Although his land in Aquitown was originally expanded, its original size is still pretty impressive. But with the land games coming in, we might see other hermits to take over the lands in Aquitown. And I have a pesky feeling that a random guy might buy them using a large amount of money. I mean, just look at it. It's way more the diamond drone. But hey, this is only a theory, a hermitcraft theory. So, who do you think is actually has the most land in the server? And who do you think will win the land games? Let me know and share ideas in the comments down below. Anyway, this is Arzor and thanks for watching. Hermitcraft theory time. Bye! The Prince of